Hey girl. Hello, Gemini. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. My name is Simply Velk and I'm going to be doing your uh, general reading for this week. Keep in mind with any, any type of general reading, you do have to rely on your intuition a little bit. Uh, I could be talking about a situation when it comes to a relationship, but for how it could partake for you and how the cards are speaking to you, could be talking about a work-life situation, right? So I do ask you, that's the only thing I do ask you of you for this type of reading is to just rely on your intuition. Take what uh, resonates with you and leave what doesn't, right? And whatever does reson resonate with you, please let me know in the comments below which card resonates with you and let me know how it resonates with you. I'm always nosy about that kind of stuff. Um, but also, uh, if this reading does give you like a sense of direction or just makes you feel good, I would love for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot and I would really appreciate it. But uh, let's just shuffle for your last row right now, Gemini, and then we'll get right into it. Now, for how I'm doing readings now, or this type of reading, is I'm gonna have the first two rows for just be general messages and I'll pull clarifiers as I feel fitting. And then for your last row, it's going to be a message from spirit, a suggestion from spirit of what you should be doing or what you could do to improve your life, right? Uh, we're here for more than just hearing the good things, right? So for your first row this week, it's already like a really good, from what I'm seeing, we have the Ace of Air, which is talking about like new ideas. This is a good week for you to start new projects, I feel, Gemini, because the Ace of Air talks about new ideas and like it talks about a challenging new beginning. So maybe getting out of your comfort zone and trying something new this week, Gemini, perhaps. Let's see. I already pulled some clarifiers. Yeah, Ace of Swords, right? You need to really bite the bullets. Hanged man. <laughs> I love this. Yeah, the hanged man into the four of cups. I'm going to explain this and show you each one individually and break this down for you because this was just the confirmation we needed. So the Ace of Air talks about like those brilliant new ideas, Gemini. Then we pulled the Ace of Swords, which is asking you to commit to it, to really go forward with this fiery passion, with this new challenging new beginning with something that's new, something out of your comfort zone. And it's through you committing to this, the hanged man, you have to commit to this and be like, um, not be attached to any type of outcome. You're just like, you know what? There's no plan B. I'm just doing this because it's fulfilling. This is what I need to do. I'm going to reach out to this person because like they are my person. Like it's meant to be whatever, whatever it looks like in your situation. It's a matter of like committing to it and honoring those feelings. And that's when it's a celebration, right? The four of cups. So this is like, a, the, if you're wondering about a person, this is your person. Uh, Gemini, this is definitely your person. Um, and like, if you're talking, worried about in the project sense or a career sense, if it's meant to be, if it's gonna work out, it's a celebratory card. This is just a really good card overall. And then we get into your second card for the first row. We have the Magician card, Archangel Razio. Really good card. The Magician card is the uh, master of all suits and it's just like again saying like you are ready life is magical this is a beautiful time for you to manifest with the two of air gemini is like this is like spirit really trying to tell you not to doubt yourself the two of air comes forward and where it's just like you have all these good cards right all these good celebratory cards these cards are really letting you know how magical this time is for you how this is just such a good time for you to manifest how you're this is like spirit letting you know like your spirit guides your ancestors like your ain't guardian angels whoever whatever your beliefs are like though the energies that work with you and are trying to elevate you this is such a good week to start going into that creative process don't spend another week of where you're just delaying and you decide on another monday this is the monday gemini this is the week for you to do it don't decide on a later week don't decide on the new year don't decide in the new uh, month of you know this is the week to commit to it this is the week for you to really go after it because it's like, such good cards and this energy is not going to be here forever gemini Keep that in mind. Let's pull some moon cards real quick. See if we can get any more clarification or any just like, see if the moon has anything else to add to what I already have to say for you, Gemini. Let's see. The answers you need are come. Yes, I got, <laughs> yes. Uh, so full moon in Taurus. Uh, you, your plans need a practice. Uh, your dreams need a practical plan. So yeah, like this is like the go forward and like really uh, put effort into trying to create these projects, Gemini. But don't just like see this reading, take this reading and be like, oh, okay, so that means I can just do whatever and like it's going to work out. No, it still needs to be fulfilling. You still need to have a game plan. And it's with that game plan that you start taking active steps. That's the thing, in taking active steps. The two of air comes in to call you out, Gemini, that maybe for a while you haven't been taking too much action. You've been waiting for something to come to you rather than to grabbing at it. And so it's just like, 
spirits letting you know it's just like they did their part they put this energy forward for you gemini now it's your job to to handle it right don't let pride get in your way right so maybe for some of you guys you don't want to do this new project that's like uncomfortable for you because it's like maybe you you don't want people to see that side of you maybe you don't want to be vulnerable a little bit maybe like whatever your story is um don't let pride get in that way don't allow like your own inner narrative to stop you from committing to this right the answers you need are coming you're a full moon full moon in gemini this is such a beautiful setup for you, Gemini. This is your week, but that full moon in Gemini, it's not going to stay here forever. You, the answers you need are coming, but you need to be the one that grabs at it. They did their part. Now it's free time for you to do your part. I feel like doing an animal card while we talk about your second row. So for your second row, Gemini, we have the Knight of Air, which is talking about just things occurring with great speed right now, creative solutions. So another creative push for you guys. So really, this is just a good time for a creative project. Um, we have the concealment. I feel like there's just like some like hidden gifts or hidden talents or passions that some of you Geminis have, but you just have never vo vocalized because your pride gets in the way. We had, I pulled the number five card. I think it just says oyster catcher. Gemini, y'all yeah, read this. It says oyster catcher, I think. Um, but the card itself says concealment. So yeah, I feel like you guys are like, put, aren't putting a light to something that you're able to put energy into that would actually be beneficial because you think you already know the story of how it would end. You already feel like you know the other person's feelings sort of thing, right? Um, we go into the fourth air talking about taking time to re rest, um, allowing more time before making a decision. So yeah, I feel like the push for you this week, Gemini, is going to really be about not doing like a rash, just like not hearing like how these energies are so good for you. Um, but not making like a rash decision, not like these two cards that came out, we have the emperor card and then we had the three uh, coins. Um, for you, Gemini, I feel like these two cards, cause this, these are some of the cards that flew out to the side. I don't feel drawn to having it be part of the main message, but I feel like this is more so coinciding with saying like, don't make rash decisions in terms of signing contracts. This is not the time to do long-term commitments. And I know some of you Geminis are going to hear that and be like, oh, does that mean not to like go for my person? Is this not my person then? Is this person not long-term? Whatever. And that's not what I mean. What I mean is that this is good energy. This is a good time for you to really start or creating or putting yourself out there or whatever it's a good time for that but don't just go up to that person and be like do you want to marry me don't have patience realize it's like you need to go through that dating phase you need to go through that uh, grungy like work phase where you get your hands and knees dirty because you're really trying to like bring this uh dream to life right for your work but just like don't make decisions don't like don't sign over your kingdom sort of thing so the, like yeah just this week don't make long-term contracts sort of thing um abundance though through your fire this is just a really good card in terms of just abundance this is really good for you um i feel and this is some of the clarify these are the clarif girl i can't hold these cards again um i feel like the, these clarifiers that i pulled for you let me get into it for you gemini so we have these seven of cups and the seven of cups is just like your world is your oyster beautiful bold card when you had it paired with the magician card earlier gemini right so this is like literally again like the um like the master of all suits like you have so many decisions so many cups that you could choose to fill and it's a matter of you making a choice i feel like that's going to be the theme you making a choice um four of coins and the five of coins this is kind of telling me that like you maybe try to have like a business plan get off the ground or like an original business plan where you had like an original plan you had your plan a and you were upset that your plan a didn't work out you're crying over that you're upset over that and maybe that's why you haven't been taking action for a while gemini um but and you know this four of coins comes in letting me know that you know this but i feel like you also know that you need to step out of your comfort zone that like your key to success gemini is you putting yourself out there you putting the action in it and even though you don't want to hear it no one wants to hear how they have to be the ones that put themselves out there because they're the ones that are making themselves vulnerable so that way they're the ones that get hurt right no one wants to willingly get hurt but i feel like it's necessary for you i'm not saying that you are going to get hurt 
this week, Gemini, but I feel like it's necessary for you to put yourself out there because I keep on hearing from spirit, like spirit's not going to continue putting these situations forward to you. It's time for you to be the peacock and stand out for the person that you are. This is such a time for you to stand out and let it be known of whoever, if you're trying to attract a person, let it be known how beautiful you are. If you're trying to get a job, well, put yourself out there, email their resume. Even if they say that they're not hiring Gemini, put your resume out there, email that resume, you, like shoot your shot <laughs> sort of thing. I keep on saying that with so many signs, but it's like truly, um, put yourself out there, remain vigilant and pay attention to the omen. So if you don't know quite where spirit's trying to direct you this week, Gemini, and you're freaking out because it's just like, well, Valkyrie, you're saying this energy's not gonna be here forever. Speaking fast, I apologize. Uh, I always get into that when I'm channeling. But if you're overwhelmed and you don't know what it is that you're trying to be directed to, I feel as if spirit's trying to direct you in the sense of uh, letting you know that if you don't know what to do, they will leave the breadcrumbs for you. Pay attention. They'll leave signs. The signs are there, but you just have to look up and pay attention instead of continuing crying over what didn't work out and using that as an excuse for why you're not pushing yourself now and why you're choosing to be comfortable now because you just said well i was uncomfortable for so long i was just uncomfortable so i don't want to be uncomfortable again and really make myself put myself out there it's just like because it didn't work out the last time get over yourself gemini you have so much greatness coming to you and i'm going to be blunt with you here right and it's beautifully timed for your last row we have the two of wands so it's like yeah this is like you're standing at the edge of your greatness and you just don't know what if you want to do this or not because you're holding back onto that past you're still clinging onto those insecurities that like you were shaken up a little bit from your last failure and you just need to get back on that horse eight of cups you need to put the trust you need to trust in the divine maybe you lost trust in people maybe you lost trust in yourself and your own talents and that's why you feel like you won't be able to fly that's why you don't take a leap but you need to put trust into whatever it is and trust in the process even if it's just putting trust in that whatever happened to you in the past that caused you to cry you trust in that like it was here to teach you something like you've had all those other cups around you fall gemini but it's that one cup that matters that's full and it's all that matters right death card yeah you need to put a death to the situation for what's holding you back before because keep in mind gemini remember i said that these cards were going to be referring to what you needed to work on this week this is really like a week of where you need to let go of the past of what's holding you back from that's keeping you from taking that leap that's keeping you you know whatever it is that like whatever these cups on the ground are for you gemini in your life of these excuses of these insecurities of like these traumas that happen to you and that's why you just don't want to do whatever you don't want to put yourself out there you don't want to own that magician energy you know have that honest conversation with yourself and figure out what it is that you need to overcome and come to terms with maybe have an ego death maybe realize that you're clinging on to something um that just i don't know you have to just have a conversation with yourself and really figure out why it is you're choosing to stop yourself and why it is you're choosing to stand at the edge of your greatness but not taking that leap i can't really tell you any further through tarot cards this is at this point up to you and up to you gemini to start doing some shadow work which i know a lot of people in general don't hear like to hear but i feel like gemini's especially don't like to hear how they have to do uh, some shadow work yeah soul journey and purification this is <laughs> Gemini, spirit's on my side for this. Listen, listen, listen here, Gemini. Your spirit, guys, these two cards right here, they are letting me know that I'm getting the complete green light to completely be as harsh as I want to y'all. These two cards coming forward is letting spirit letting me know that I'm in the right here, that they're on my side, that they're taking my side in this, Gemini. When I'm talk when I was talking about the shadow work and I was shuffling these cards, we pulled out the soul journey and the purification card for you. This is literally me saying like the card saying like this is a time for you to heal your soul. This is a time to do some shadow work. You know, like this is to and purify yourself, purify your soul during on this journey. Like it's such a ugh. I don't feel like I need to do any other cards, Gemini. So uh, I'm going to close this reading out. I really hope this reading was helpful to you. Please take heed to what I, the messages that I said and don't take them personally. I truly just want to um, help people just go forward in their lives. So I hope I didn't offend you. But it, um, if I did, then oh well. But I love you so much, Gemini. I really can't wait to hear how things work out for you this week. Bye.